Hi and welcome back. In this tutorial we will create a storage virtual machine that is not part of Active Directory but it uses Workgroup for Windows. Uh, we'll create a storage virtual machine that has a logical interface with an IP address. It will be part of the Workgroup NetApp and the volume will have a path name and will be accessible via a share name. And then in the storage virtual machine we will define a local user with a password then from Windows we will map the drive and access it as a workgroup user. So these will be the steps. First we'll create the storage virtual machine. Uh, then we will create a volume. And thirdly we'll create the logical interface and give it an IP address. Then we'll set up the storage virtual machine as a SIF server in a workgroup. So not part of Active Directory but it will have a workgroup entry. Then we'll create an entry in the export policy for clients to be able to access the volumes. Then create a local user in the storage virtual machine. And finally in the cluster we'll create a SIF share for the volume. And then we'll go to Windows and map the network drive. So we log into our cluster and the first step would be to create the storage virtual machine. Uh, I'm going to name it Storage Virtual Machine Workgroup. The subtype is default. I leave it at that. The root volume, I'm not interested in that, but the security style would be NTFS because it's going to be accessed by Windows users. Then we create the volume. We call it Vol Workgroup. The aggregate will be X data. The size is 100 megabytes. And the junction path, which is important, is Vol Workgroup. It's arbitrary, but we call it Vol Workgroup. And security style, also very important, is NTFS. Then it warns us about the export policy because it has no rules. We confirm that. We are going to do that later. So then it will create the volume and mount it to the junction path. Next thing we do is we will create an IP address. So we need a lift, and it will be a lift in the storage virtual machine, obviously. The name of the lift um, I'm going to choose LIF workgroup. The role is data, is not used for logging in, it's for data protocols. And the minimum we have to uh, apply is the SIFS protocol because that's how we want to access it. Then we give it an IP address, a net mask, and the ports, and then we press enter. Then we enable SIFS for the storage virtual machine. We call the SIFS server workgroup. The workgroup is going to be NetApp and the SIFS uh, vServer should be up and running. And because we're running Windows 2012, we do not have to enable SMB1 because we will not be using SMB1 from Windows 2012. So the SVM will run SMB version 2 or version 3, but not version 1. And then we add a rule to the empty export policy so that clients can access the SVM. The last thing we do in the storage virtual machine is we create a local user by the name of user workgroup and the user should be enabled. The user will need a password and finally we create a share for the volume. The share name will be vol workgroup and we use the junction path as the path name and we're done. And then in Windows, we go to this PC and add a network drive. What we have to do is we enter the IP address and the share name and select a drive letter. We click Finish. Then we have to enter the username and the password with which we can access the volume. We create a folder in the volume and that's it.